in 2021, um, the health question is really different. Um, we have physical health, we have um, mental health, and I feel that where I live contributes both positively and negatively in both of those. There's a lot communities can do to improve one's health and well-being. One, we can improve the actual physical environment, um, so fixing up dilapidated housing, fixing up vacant land um, becomes imperative. I don't, I don't know that there's necessarily safe places to have walking and things of that nature. So in that way, I don't know that I get to enjoy the outdoors. My name is Dr. Wendy Troxell, and I'm one of the principal investigators of the Pittsburgh Hill Homewood Research Study on Neighborhood Change and Health. Over the past 10 years, the FRESH study has taken a community-based research approach, hiring residents from the Hill and Homewood to study how changing neighborhood conditions including the opening of the supermarket in the Hill District, improvements in housing, and improvements in green spaces and parks may impact residents' health behaviors and outcomes, including diet, physical activity, sleep, and heart disease risk factors. If the roads are done, if the streets are, if the streets are paved, if the, sidewalks are, if the sidewalks are not crumbling, if the lots are manicured, when that child goes to school, he's already in a positive state of mind. mind. Because I have a car, I'm pretty mobile. I can get where I want to go. But I can remember, you can go food shopping in the community anywhere. We had a total maybe of three or four grocery stores. Life was healthier then. Living in Homewood and how it impacts my health in a lot of ways is not having access to a grocery store. You really have to leave the neighborhood to get a good grocery store, especially with um, fresh vegetables. They instinctively would get together and help their neighbor. I miss that. I miss the connectiveness. So when you talk about this investment and you've seen nothing new in your community, or you have seen investments that come in your community, but you got to move out, that doesn't help the neighborhood because now the community of people that make up that neighborhood are either gone or they've seen no investment, now they feel left behind. When it comes to you know my community, sometimes it seems like we are the last to get those infrastructure needs and changes. I would like to see Homewood go in the direction of you know having an equitable relationship for current residents and new residents that come in. So if there's developmental changes that are happening, I'd like to see the benefit go across the board and not just to the new residents. If you see poverty every single day and you're not exposed to growth and a higher quality of life, that becomes your narrative. Some of the fresh findings have demonstrated that feeling unsafe in one's neighborhood or being in an area with higher exposure to crime is associated with lower levels of physical activity among residents and higher risk of sleep problems. On the other hand, we've also found that improvements within neighborhoods are associated with improvements in sleep quality, more financial stability for residents, and greater satisfaction in one's neighborhood as a place to live. Our findings also indicate that changing neighborhood conditions are most likely to have a positive impact on residents when residents have a voice when it comes to the changes that are happening in their communities.